so uh, 12th class uh, let us continue with the mysql tables okay now this is the question of term 2 sample paper right the tables are employee and department clear the fields given for employee table are emp id name dob that is date of birth department id designation and salary and uh, field for department table are department id department name and floor number clear so a part to display the average salary of all employees department wise okay department wise average salary of all employees department wise select average salary from employees group by department id group by department id am i clear yes am i clear to all all right b part to display name respective department name of each employee whose salary is more than 50000 select name comma department name of each employee now name is in the employee table department name is in the department table that means this is the command of join we are to use the joins from employee e department d where one field might be common department id e dot department id equal to d dot department id and next condition is salary must be more than 50000 and salary more than 50000 next is to display the name of employees whose salary is not known in alphabetical order to display the name of employees whose salary is not known in alphabetical order select name from employee where salary is null where salary is null jimmy is the employee whose salary figure is not given in the question so that will be treated as null okay uh, in alphabetical order order by name semicolon then d part to display department id from table employee without repetition without repetition means we are not to consider the duplicate record we are not to treat the duplicate entry select department id distinct department id
फ्रॉम एम्प्लॉय ओके डिस्टिंक्ट डिपार्टमेंट आईडी फ्रॉम एम्प्लॉय दिस कमांड विल नॉट ट्रीट डुप्लीकेट वैल्यूज इफ एनी वैल्यू इज रिपीटेड इट विल बी कंसिडर ओनली वंस then moving to the so these are the four commands this is table of 2021 sample paper okay so i just save it 2021 sample paper term 2 solution now moving to the next table that is student table again i open the notepad now we have student table this is 2019 first statement of output select count star city from student group by city having count more than 1 so we have to make two entries here count star city we are to make entries for those where entry is more than 1 agra single it will not be counted mumbai 2 yes 2 mumbai then we have delhi 2 then we have Moscow two. Okay, number two. Select maximum date of birth, minimum date of birth, max date of birth. Maximum date of birth means highest year. 1995 is the highest year now we go to the month 12th month is the highest 1995 is the highest and uh, if 99 uh, 12 december then we go with 8th so it is 08 12 1990 5 this is the highest date now minimum date of birth minimum date of birth we have to find minimum date of birth we will see the minimum year and minimum year is 1993 only 1993 is the minimum year so we will take 05 1993 so this is our minimum date of birth and maximum date of birth now moving to the next output select name comma gender from student we are to find the name then we find the gender from student where city is delhi we have sanal city is delhi then we have store city is delhi okay now for next section of commands we are to create the sql queries first 
to display the records from table student in alphabetical order as per the name of the student select star from student order by name since we have to find we have to display the name in ascending order so by default order is ascending still if you want to give the order in ascending you can write asc keyword it is up to you whatever command you want to write without asc keyword or with asc keyword then number 2 to display class date of birth city select class comma date of birth comma city from student marks between this where marks between 450 and 551 whenever we are given the range we are to take the between operator whenever we are given the range we are to take the between operator that covers the range the alternate command can be or there is one alternate command select class comma date of birth comma city from student where marks more than equal to 450 and marks less than equal to 551 this can also be the solution now moving to the third command to display name class and total number of students who have secured more than 450 marks class wise select name comma class total number of students name class total number of students count star from student where a uh, group by class having marks more than 450 fourth command to increase marks of all students by 20 whose class is 12 here we are to use the update command to increase the marks but we are to increase the marks for those candidates whose class is 12 select oh sorry update table name set marks equal to marks plus 20 where class equal to plus 2 so this was the question of 2019 which i have discussed 2019 my sql solution okay now proceeding to the sample paper this is term 2 sample paper
I'm opening notepad here again. Term two, sample paper, computer science. All right. Now we are revising the sample paper for networking and MySQL. First question, give any two characteristics of stack. Stack is based on LIFO structure. One, one feature is this. Second is the insertion and deletion is done at top only. Top se hi insertion, top se hi deletion. There is only one end from where you can insert or delete the element. Next, expand the following term, SMTP. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Simple mail transfer protocol. Then XML. XML stands for extensible markup language. Third, out of the following, which is the fastest wired? Fastest wired and fastest unwired. So, fastest wired is optical fiber. And uh, fastest wireless is microwave. Moving towards the fourth uh, question. Uh, this is second question, second part. This is second question, second part. Now we are proceeding to the third question. Differentiate between character N and variable character N. Character N data type means the length is fixed. The number of characters that you can enter in the string is fixed number of characters. If you are entering less number of characters, the gap will be filled by spaces. Okay. And some space is always wasted. Like you have fixed size of 30, but you are entering name of 10 characters. 20 blank spaces will be inserted, and that is a wastage. Variable character means the length varies. No fixed characters are there. Length is variable. No blank space are inserted. No space is wasted. Then we move to the fourth question. A result set is extracted from the database using the cursor object by giving the following statement my data equal to cursor dot fetch one. A part. How many records will be returned by fetch one method? Fetch one method always display one record at a time. So it is one record at a time. Then B. What will be the data type of my data object after the given command is executed? The record extracted from result set are always displayed in form of tuple. Moving to the next question. Write the output of the queries from A to D. A part. Select sum. We are to print the sum of discount. From furniture, where cost more than 15,000. 
we are to find the sum of the discount in the furniture table where cost is more than 15000 so it is 45000 51000 10 and 515 20 to 15 plus 0 15 then 14 15 and 14 is 29 15 and 14 is 29. Then B part. We are to find maximum date of purchase. Date of purchase. So maximum date of purchase is uh, the highest year first of all go for the highest year then if year are same month if month are same then date so it is 20 20 21 21 21 jan 21 july so 21 july is the highest Select star from furniture where discount more than five and FID like T percent T006 FID is T006 discount is 12. Okay, this will come T010 but discount is not more than five so this will not come so we have t006 the format will be fid name date of purchase cost discount FID is T006. Name is console table. Date of purchase is 17th November 2019. Cost is 15,000 and discount is 12. So this is the complete detail. Moving to the D part. Select date of purchase from furniture where name in dining table, console table. Date of purchase. Dining table date is 10th March 2020 and console table is 17th November 2019. Then moving to the sixth question. Which command is used to view the list of tables in a database. Show tables. Second part, give one point of difference between equi-join and that equi-join two identical columns are there. Okay, is used for comparison between two tables and duplicate columns are shown.
but in the natural joint column which are common are taken only once no duplicate columns okay seventh question movie details table is there and uh, we are to find the degree and the cardinality degree of the table already told to you the number of attributes that is 1 2 3 4 5 5 degree of the column is five. cardinality 1,2,3,4,5,6 it is 6 B part this was A part which field should be made as primary key justify your answer the field which must be the primary key must be the field where no duplicate values are there where there is no null value so movie id is suitable primary key for the table justify the answer it does not contain duplicate values it does not contain any null values then the second alternative question a part identify the candidate keys from the table movie details candidate keys are those set of keys which are capable of becoming the primary key so that can be hindi is repeated five repeated z five repeated so these three columns cannot be the primary candidate key movie id has all field unique title has all movies unique movie id title can be suitable candidate keys all right then next part which field should be made the primary key movie id same reason no duplicate values plus no null value okay so proceeding towards the next question schedule table the b part of this which field should be considered as foreign key if tables movie details and schedule are related movie id this field is common in two tables and values of movie id in the schedule table has been taken from values of movie id in the movie detail table foreign key values are taken from the primary key of parent table other table all right then uh, proceeding to the ninth question a table item has been created in the database with the following fields item code item name quantity and price give the sql command to add a new field discount of type integer 
alter table item add discount integer whenever we are to add any new column in the table we are to use alter table command any amendment any modification to be done in the table is done via alter table command if you want to add a new column we use add keyword if we want to modify the existing column we use modify keyword then second part categorize the following commands into ddl and dml ddl we have drop table we have alter table and uh, dml we have insert into and update set now moving to the 10th question charu has to create a database named my earth in my sql so command will be create database my earth she now needs to create a table name city in the database to store records of various cities across the globe the table city has the following structure so we are to create the command for creating the table create table city opening bracket city code of type string and to be treated as primary key next we have city name of character 30 size then we have size of type integer then we have avg temp of integer then we have pollution rate integer then we have population integer that's all so we close the bracket and semicolon so this we have created a table whatever was asked we have framed in the form of table two commands one to create the database second to create the table inside that database all right uh, this question we have done 11th question we have done now moving to the 12th question advantages of start topology ease of service then centralized control fault diagnosis is easy then demerits dependence on the central node if central hub fails 
the whole network will get destroyed and uh, long cable required we need to have long cable so these are the demerits of your start topology then we have how is packet switching different from circuit switching packet switching means store and forward and when the line is clear the packet is sent to the next switching office but in packet switching a limited amount of data is sent a limited amount of data is sent there is restriction on the amount of data that you can transfer okay but in circuit switching first of all you have to establish the connection and when the connection is established then you can exchange information between sender and receiver so that was all for the lecture